Out of the blue, in the spring of 2022, CZ unveiled a new Scorpion model, the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus, to the gun press. The general public would have to wait another year for its release. Today, you can get this firearm in either a pistol or carbine version. I was lucky enough to get the carbine variant for review. I'm quite familiar with its predecessor, the CZ Scorpion Evo S1, and see it as a bit of a family member. I have a love-hate relationship with it. While I'm fond of it, some small aspects can be incredibly frustrating. Luckily, it was pretty simple to address most of these issues with the original Scorpion. I appreciated the design so much that I even bought the initial Scorpion pistol model that I got for review around 10 years ago. When the next generation was announced, I was excited to see whether CZ had ironed out all the minor kinks in the hugely popular firearm that had fueled an entire industry of aftermarket parts. Let's first understand the design before we delve into the changes in the new version and discuss why you might want to upgrade certain features. For quite some time after its debut, I saw the CZ Scorpion as the best value and an ideal starter pistol caliber carbine. Whether it's in its carbine or pistol form, and no matter if you needed it for self-defense or competition, it was lightweight, reasonably priced, utterly dependable, and simple to customize if desired. On top of that, it had a distinctive, quirky appearance, which I found quite appealing. In fact, its unique look led to its appearance, usually the pistol, in numerous films and TV shows. But the Scorpion's uniqueness goes beyond aesthetics. It has a distinctive construction, too. The upper receiver, which is the identifiable part, consists of two polymer pieces bolted together. The whole gun has a modular design, meaning it can be disassembled without tools. Apart from the barrel, virtually every component can be replaced using 1.5mm or 3mm punches or wrenches. The Scorpion, chambered in 9mm, operates on a straightforward blowback system. Such systems typically employ hefty bolts, often with robust springs, to prevent the bolt from retracting until the pressures from the recently fired cartridge have dropped to safe levels. This is precisely what you find in the Scorpion. It has a sizable rectangular steel bolt with a recoil spring protruding from the back, coiled around a guide rod. The guide rod's end features a small polymer pad that rests against the receiver's rear. The bolt assembly weighs a total of 22 ounces, in stark contrast to an AR-15's bolt carrier group, which typically weighs 11.6 ounces. The entire receiver, inclusive of the MIL standard 1913 rail on top, is made of polymer. In fact, the receiver's rear consists of two polymer halves held together by screws. If you're a purist who believes firearms should be crafted from blued steel and finely grained wood, the Scorpion may not be your cup of tea. When I initially encountered the Scorpion years ago, I was unsure about its construction. A polymer shell assembled with screws? It took me a bit of time to recognize that the Scorpion is the contemporary equivalent of the Sten SMG. It's designed to perform its function as efficiently and simply as possible, though it's constructed using modern materials and production techniques. While the Scorpion EVO 3 boasts a stylish design, it is no more complex than necessary a statement that could never be applied to the Heckler & Koch MP5. The Scorpion comes with an excellent set of iron sights. While the Scorpion sights have evolved over time, and some carbine models in the past were equipped with Magpul flip-up sights, I have a preference for the CZ versions. They feature machined aluminum bases. The front sight is an AR-15 style post, adjustable for elevation, and is shielded by wings. The rear sight is a flywheel with four apertures of different sizes adjustable for windage. Just a note, the top receiver rail on the CZ sits a bit higher off your cheek compared to an AR-15's rail. This means that an optic designed for a flat top AR will position the reticle roughly half an inch higher than on an AR. Given the trend for higher optic mounts, this shouldn't be an issue for most people. The carbine's handguard is smooth to the touch and includes M-lock slots for attaching accessories. The polymer is a great insulator, and given that pistol cartridges take a while to heat up a barrel, unlike rifle cartridges, you're unlikely to feel the heat under your hand unless you're constantly firing as quickly as possible. The safety is a bilateral lever made of polymer that rotates downwards to fire. The receiver's safety and fire markings are likely unlike anything you've seen before. 
they seemed more suited for a computer program with a white zero for safe and a red for fire. If the hammer is cocked, you can operate the charging handles even if the safety is on. If the hammer isn't cocked and the safety is on, the bolt will only pull back about half an inch, just enough to check if the chamber is loaded. Within the angular trigger guard, the Scorpion features a polymer trigger with a rigid raised face. CZ Scorpions aren't exactly renowned for their superior trigger pulls, and the fire control group on the 3 Plus is identical to that of the Evo S1, so expect a similar below par performance. The trigger pull on my sample weighed in at exactly 8 pounds. The trigger offers a sort of rolling brake. It's not gritty, but it's not as crisp as a conventional single stage either. With a bit of practice, you can stage it midway for enhanced precision. The main differences between the original Scorpion Evo S1 and the 3 Plus are evident in the controls. The 3 Plus has a bilateral magazine release, featuring an AR-15 style button on the right side that's accessible with your trigger finger. The left side magazine release is in the same place, but is a slightly pivoting button. The bolt does look back on empty magazines. The bolt release is located at the bottom front of the trigger guard, right behind the magazine well. It's a serrated tab present on both sides, best operate with your thumb, pull down to send the bolt home. The Scorpion stock is as iconic as the rest of the firearm. It's sturdy, adjustable for a 12 to 14 inch length of pull (LOP), and equipped with a thin rubber pad at the rear. There's a QD socket at the back, but it might be challenging to use since the stock folds. Given that the bolt fully reciprocates inside the receiver, the Scorpion can accommodate a folding stock, which folds to the right side at the press of a button. A small hook on the stock side looks onto the bottom of the magazine well, securing the stock when folded. A brisk pull pops it open. The folded stock does not obstruct the ejection port, allowing you to fire the Scorpion with the stock folded. So, how does the new Scorpion 3 Plus differ from the original Evo 3 S1? While some Scorpion pistols have molded rail sections, all 3 Plus versions feature M-Lock slots in their handguards. The original's overly angled grip which pushed your hand uncomfortably against the safety, has been redesigned in the 3 Plus. It was only when the Scorpion hit the US market that CZ recognized their safety design shortcomings. So, later Evo 3 S1 models and the 3 Plus introduced shortened safety levers. Moreover, the 3 Plus has a less angled and better textured pistol grip that doesn't force your hand against the safety, preventing discomfort from the right side lever. The 3 Plus's upper receiver contours are subtly different but it's hard to spot without an original for comparison. The biggest change is the absence of snap hook attachment points on the 3 Plus, found on the originals both sides. These changes, however, are external. The internal bolt group remains identical to the Evo S1. Things they should have changed, but didn't. Let's discuss some issues with the Scorpion that could be improved. But remember, the internals of the 3 Plus model are the same as the original Evo, so all upgrades for the EVO 3 S1 fits the 3 Plus. First, the charging handle is too small. It's challenging to operate quickly, especially with gloves on, and can skin your knuckle. Several companies sell inexpensive, larger charging handles, which I recommend. Next, the 8-pound trigger pull is not ideal, and the rigid trigger isn't comfortable. However, you can get replacement spring kits to reduce the pull to around 5.5 pounds and various aluminum replacement triggers are available for improved feel. The 3 Plus pistol grip is better than the original, but it's still replaceable with a single screw if you prefer a different style. Replacement grips are reasonably priced. Finally, the Scorpion has surprising recoil for a 9mm, likely due to the heavy bolt. It doesn't harm your shooting experience, but a recoil attenuating device like B&T's hydraulic recoil buffer would become a welcome addition although it would increase the cost. Despite these issues, the Scorpion's reliability is outstanding, and the inexpensive upgrades can significantly enhance the experience. In conclusion, the CZ Scorpion EVO 3 Plus remains a standout option for those seeking an affordable, reliable, and highly modular pistol caliber carbine. Its distinctive looks, durability, and the ability to disassemble without tools further add to its appeal. While its design has some downsides, like the small charging handle, heavy trigger pull, uncomfortable stock grip, and surprisingly high recoil for a 9mm, the majority of these issues can be readily fixed with inexpensive, 
readily available aftermarket parts. Importantly, the EVO 3 Plus shares internals with the original EVO, ensuring that a wide range of upgrade parts are compatible. Furthermore, the Scorpion's reliability is second to none, a key consideration for any firearm purpose for personal defense or competition. Therefore, despite some minor drawbacks, the CZ Scorpion EVO 3 Plus still holds its place as one of the best value and most accessible pistol carbine on the market, whether you are a beginner or a seasoned shooter. If you enjoyed this discussion on the CZ Scorpion EVO 3 Plus, make sure to like this content and subscribe for more updates. You can turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest information and content we provide. By subscribing, you'll be able to keep track of new information, insights, and discussions about a range of topics. Also, please feel free to share any thoughts or questions you might have in the comments section. We appreciate your engagement and would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support.